Knight d4. And then knight d4. But he went somewhere else with the knight. Yeah. And I don't really see what he could do here. Yeah, I thought that he wanted to go king e5 and knight d4. You know, it's interesting maybe... because... <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just wondering in, in that position too. I don't think that white has any problem. You just need to work out precisely what you do. But were you going to say that uh, what can black do here? Well, what I was going to say... <clears throat> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Let's forget about what I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, my. Breakthrough. G takes h3 and g4. Is this happening? Is it winning? Oh, my. That's why he played knight b4, so that the bishop would go that away from the diagonal. That was an evil move. Look at that. Knight b4. And uh, why didn't realize this bishop takes h3 threat? He had wow. to go to f1 with the bishop in order to prevent this. Okay, to but if, he, if he'd gone to f1, then Maxime's idea was knight c2 check, king moves, knight to e3, and black cleans oh. up the whole king side as well. You're right. After knight b4, there was no move then. Yeah, I don't know. He's down to 10 seconds, and I don't see any defense to black queening here. Lost. This, this is a beautiful breakthrough by Maxim Vachelagrav in a position where we were complaining that he has to accept the draw. Yeah. Wow. It's reminiscent of what Wesley So did against Maxim exactly. in a previous round, isn't it? He learned it? from it. <laughs> he learned a lesson. Wow, this was beautiful. And Can we just it. go wow. through the last moves? Yeah.